Now I want to briefly discuss the product development pathway for any new intervention. We start off with the discovery of this intervention, and from there we go into preclinical work, which has to do with evaluating the effect and the toxicity of that intervention, either in vitro or in animal models. Once the safety has been established of that intervention, then it is entered into the first clinical trial, that is the first trial involving man, and that would be the phase one trial. Then that leads into phase two, then phase three, and assuming that there is evidence suggesting a treatment effect or an interventional effect, then that product or intervention is, is often submitted to regulatory agencies such as the US FDA, or if you're in Europe, the, the EMA, for approval purposes. So the discovery phase essentially consists of high throughput screening to identify target compounds, oftentimes if we're focusing in on some sort of therapeutic intervention. And the focus is on quantity, not necessarily quality or purity. So really at this, at this point, uh, researchers are looking at a, a wide array of poten potential compounds and looking at them at, in a variety of ways to see if they have any activity, um, how, how useful that, how easily it would be to, to um, pro produce these products, etc. The preclinical phase, as I briefly mentioned, comprises in vivo and in vitro testing. And all you would really need to know about this is that this is the, the phase during which it evaluation of the intervention is performed um, in animal models as well as um, in laboratory experimentation. So the phase one of the clinical trial development consists of oftentimes it's, it's performed um, in a small number of volunteers and the purpose of the phase one is to evaluate the overall safety and tolerability of whatever intervention is being studied. So in phase one, we're generally enrolling healthy individuals. There, the exception to this would be in clinical trials for development of a oncologic drug product that already has tremendous toxicity as many uh, therapies for cancer do. And phase one trials generally then do not include healthy people, but they include people with cancer. But in general, you can assume that Phase one trials, except for the case of cancer, are performed in a small number of healthy people to evaluate the toxicity and tolerability of that intervention. If the tolerability is acceptable and the safety is acceptable, then the product is moved into what's called phase two. And this is the phase during which the intervention or treatment or device is going to be evaluated for uh, proof, of e proof of efficacy, and it's going to be conducted in people who have the target disease or problem of interest. And really the purpose here is to just evaluate to see if there's any effect in human. This is performed in a small number of subjects as well, and again it's among people who have the target problem or target, or they are just the targeted population for the intervention. Finally, we have phase three during the development of the product, and this is the, the period where which the pivotal or large trials are being performed with the, with the, de, the desire to establish that the intervention is indeed uh, has efficacy and is safe. It is performed again in the target population, and it includes a much larger number of subjects than that used in the phase two and phase one levels of the development. Oftentimes there's a need for replication at this stage, that means that more than one trial is often required for proof of efficacy and safety. And it is in these large trials that, lar that sound statistical principles are uh, planned and uh, performed. And finally, if a product or intervention is, is approved by regulatory authorities and it's, it's put out on the market for wide use, Sometimes a phase four or what's called a post-market trial or study may be performed and the purpose of these is to generally to measure safety of that intervention in a larger, less restrictive population. And it is here, these are the pragmatic trials with the intention of evaluating the effectiveness of the product. 
these are also referred to as part post-marketing surveillance trials.